An economic boost for Austin or a vacuum for city tax dollars? That's the debate over the high-end shopping center of the domain. One group says it's unfair that the city of Austin granted the domain up to $65 million in subsidies, while other local businesses are forced to close their doors. When I first heard about the domain subsidies, I was frankly pretty angry about it. Mainly because I don't think that there is an equivalent for supporting local businesses, and I don't think you'd see anything local about the domain. My biggest concern was that I felt like the city was giving folks an incentive to come in and compete. Uh, with me, and I was never able to get that you know same benefit. You know, competition is one thing, and competition is good. But when your tax dollars are actually paying for uh, your competition to come in town and and to go toe to toe with that, our city government tends to bend over backwards for developers, and it was just a matter of time before they started giving uh, tax incentives to retailers. I don't feel like the citizens of Austin should be subsidizing that what should be a very profitable venture. When those 30 stores opened up and we were all competing for the same customer, we realized it's, it was going to hit our store pretty big, and it has. Our sales have definitely decreased because of it. I initially was resigned to it because I didn't feel like the citizens of Austin had any say in exactly how that all shook out. It's done in a week's time to avoid public scrutiny, and that's exactly the opposite of what would be in the public interest. The longer a time period the public has to take a look at it, to take a look at how its money is being spent, it's the public's money we're talking about. It's not the developer's money. And if, we're, if the developer is willing to make a deal with the public to take the public's money and to do something of public value, then the developer has got to open its books out and let the public take a good hard look at what kind of deal it's getting and how much it's going to get for what it is it's spending. There's every probability that a major retail development would have occurred on the domain and adjacent properties without any incentive. They're getting all these huge breaks and you know, I've, I've pinched every penny in every corner possible and I've never got one single break. So, um, you know, and, and my money goes right back into the community, whereas these, these people, you know, their money is getting shipped off to wherever it, their corporate offices are. People who live here bring me things here. I give them money and they spend it next door or around the corner or they, whatever they do with it. I don't follow people after I give them money. But then I, in turn, sell that item, and then I buy groceries here. As the money is spent locally, and the local businesses do have a higher payroll than, than the chains do, because they have more administration here, as that money is spent locally, of course it's pushed out and multiplied, and that's the multiplier effect. I feel like most of us, the majority of us in Austin, are creating the prosperity of others at our own expense. We are the tax base that allows the city to give away rebates and subsidies to people who don't need it, while we who do need it have what, what little we have taken away by a government that is not receptive or responsive to our needs. I just think it's a dumb idea to give our money to those folks. They're making enough money as it is, and there's other things we need the money for. I actually have been to the Domain a couple different times, and I enjoy shopping there. I enjoy the, the stores and so on, but I don't think taxpayers should have to foot the bill for people's shopping habits. I'm going to vote for Proposition 2 to ban the Domain subsidies. I think Proposition 2, people should vote for the ban to end these kinds of subsidies. I'm going to vote for Proposition 2 because I think it's a no-brainer to support Austin local businesses.